Hello, this is Ferris. This is one of my patients, and I'd like to share with you what we have done here. In my patient's healthy, 56 years of age, female, with missing upper left lateral incisor, patients wear a partial prosthetic for a long, long time which result in tremendous amount of bone loss and tissue loss. And we think in here we want to do bone management and soft tissue management. And we're going to use autologous bone block to augment the bone. This is x-ray. This is my incision design, it's remote incision. And we're going to measure here. And we're going to measure twice. Okay. And you can appreciate the amount of bone loss. This is a full thickness flap. And here we're going to score the periostom, releasing the flap to position the flap coronary. We want tension free closure. This is the harvesting side. This is attempt. I attempted this picture to show you the mental phenomena of bundles. We're gonna measure here. This is the external oblique ridge of the patient. We're gonna use a piezo technology for atraumatic harvesting of the block. This is the freeing of the block, and this is the closure. This is the recipient site, and here's we insulting the bone, we creating a bleeding point. This is bifixation, it's very important for the success of the graft. We can round any sharp angle, and then we can add the extra bone. This is the closure with micro suture. This is a picture of the fixated graft. This is the complete closures. After three months, this is the reopening with, with papilla and sparing incision. We can uh, expose the graft and you can appreciate the amount of the bone that we achieve. And you can see the bleeding bone point on the block graft. And this is the preparation design for the implant placement and three-dimensionally placement. And we achieved very nice torque on this implant placement, so we decided to go right away for temporization and provisionalization. And here's as we harvest connective tissue that's going to be Pedicle through the palatal area. So we're going to suture it and then it's going to go underneath. So it's going to stay attached to the palate. And this is the closure. This is the provisional. And we're going to make sure that we don't have any cement that's going to go underneath. So we're going to use outside cementation. We're going to use temporary abutment to replica. And then we're going to do the cementation outside the patient. Then we're going to transfer that after removing any access to the patient. This is pictures of the provisional place. And there's going to be no loading. This is very important point. This is immediate placement and immediate provisionalization, but no loading. Okay, and you can appreciate the healing here. There's some pictures. We can we can match the porcelain with the enamels in Denton shade. This is the impression, full arch impression. This is the abutment. 
we're gonna full, we're gonna utilize a full zirconia abutment, customized abutment, and this is the porcelain work by our master ceramist, and you can appreciate the work our partners in the dental lab that they can do for us. And my master ceramist definitely made me proud here. Patient was very happy with the aesthetic. And you can appreciate the chroma match. And also you can appreciate the maturation of the tissue because the connective tissue as the time go by. This is Ferris Erasic. Thank you very much for watching.